matching the water bottle to the shirt today, so pretty neat. Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sydney Lee. I don't think I've ever said that ever, so that felt weird. <laughs> today I have a big fat fall haul for you guys. Um, I was really excited about a lot of these pieces, especially just because I'm so excited for the fall season. It's kind of here, but it's kind of not where I live. Like it's still a little bit hot, so. But a lot of these pieces are kind of a similar color scheme, which I didn't really realize, but looking at them now, I'm like, I feel like they're gonna go along together great. I really don't usually buy pieces that coordinate so well, but this time I'm kind of like, I could maybe wear everything together and it would look totally fine. So without further ado, let's get on to this fall haul. I thought I would start first with the tops. Um, I went thrifting the other day, surprise, surprise, and I was specifically on the hunt for sweaters, but I also found one other top I really liked and felt very fallish to me. It is this little striped top. It's actually from Brand Brandy Melville, which is kind of funny. I never thought I would say that, but here it is. It's actually pretty good quality, very thick for the fall time, and I'm just a lover of stripes, to be honest. Like, I can't help it, so I just really like this top and the way it fit. And yeah, I really like this color scheme, like the brown and the black stripes together. Honestly, everything to me. I reach for shirts like this the most, like, everyday life, besides, like, my big baggy t-shirts. If I'm gonna wear a shirt, it's gonna be comfy. So this will be great. Next up, I did end up getting some sweaters. I was looking in the men's section just because sometimes I feel like they have more the vibe I want than the women's sweaters, but it is kind of 50-50. Sometimes I do find other stuff in the women's section. This one is just kind of a baggy black sweater. I thought it would be kind of a nice little like basic for the fall. And it also has this little like random logo on it. Don't know what the Waterford School of for Honor, Beauty, and Wisdom is, but it's on my sweater now. I really like the like baggy fit of it. I feel like that gives it more of the vibe I wanted of like kind of casual and vintage looking, dare I say. And I just really think it'll look good with skirts and pants and be really easy to style. Next up was this little green sweater. This one is a little more fitted, which I actually like. I like that I got a baggy sweater and a fitted one because I feel like they do different jobs, you know? The green color on this is kind of what got me. Like, I just think it looks really, really nice. Again, it's all kind of in the same color palette as what I was showing before. Like, I'm really just into like the neutrals of fall, I feel like. Anyways, this one was actually $7, which I thought was like a little bit much for a DI sweater. But when I tried it on, I was just like, it's kind of perfect. And my friends are like, yes, get it. So I did. And I'm really glad I did. I feel like it'll be really fun to style. Ah. This one is Banana Republic, um, by the way, if any of you guys care. So, yeah. Um, oh, and the other one was Mills, this brand. I never usually show the tags of my thrifted items. I need to do that more. I just forget, usually. But today I'm on top of it, so. Love me a good oversized boyish sweater, you know what I mean? Next up, I thought I would show you guys my pants. I was looking for jeans because I needed new ones. My other jeans weren't fitting as well as they used to. And I was like, you know what? We are gonna go out and we are gonna find the perfect pair of jeans. And honestly, I feel like I kinda did it. These are actually Madewell jeans. I was going shopping with my sister-in-laws. It was in my most recent vlog, if you wanna see. And we went to Nordstrom Rack and they had these Madewell jeans. And and I tried them on and I really like the fit of them. They're a very straight leg. The name of them is the perfect vintage straight leg jeans or whatever. So, you know, they knew what they were doing. Rise is kind of nice. <laughs> the fit of these is really good. I like how they're just straight legged and I like how high rise it comes. But honestly, like I also like that when I was wearing them in the day, it shifted to like in between a high rise and a mid rise. And I wear a lot of crop tops. So I kind of like when my jeans meet where they cut off and these do that perfectly. The wash is good. What else can I say? They were kind of pricey, which I don't usually love, but the perfect jeans are divine, so I feel like sometimes it's worth it. Next up, I am really, really, really excited about these. In a trend video forever ago, like I think it was last year, I said I was really liking camo and like a really specific print of camo. So surprise, surprise, I got two things actually that were camo, but the first is these pants. I got them off of Vinted. They are Russell Outdoors pants. So I'm sure it's some company for like, hunting camo pants, but you know. I really like this print of camo. I just think it's very cool for the fall and kind of more of a statement than regular pants. The pink interior is also super cute. Like, are you kidding me? I can't really see it when I wear them, but I know it's there and that's what matters. I'll be honest, the only thing that kind of was disappointing about these pants 
is the fit wasn't quite what I wanted. I feel like they're really baggy in the leg, which I like, but the crotch and the top is a little bit tighter and it's kind of low rise, which could be a vibe, but I just feel like it's a little weird, like the way it's shaped. I don't know. Like it's so low rise that like my underwear is hanging out. You know what I mean? So I definitely am gonna have to style it to either have like a really baggy top on top or like have boxers peeking out or something. Like I'm willing to make it work because I'm so obsessed with like the prints and everything, but I think the fit could be a little bit baggier and like a little bit more high-waisted if it was my preference. Besides that, I'm so stoked for these. Super excited. One of my favorite trends for fall right now, so yes. Speaking of camo, I do have a few accessories and this one's kind of random, but I did get a new phone case and I'm honestly so obsessed with it. I wanted to show you guys. It is from Hot Kiss, I believe, and it's just like this cute camo case with a bow on it. Like, are you kidding me? I feel like I live in Utah, so camo is kind of funny around here. You gotta really make sure it's like cool and not super yeehaw, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like this case does a good job because I like the bow on it and I just feel like it's super cute and super into it. And then I got two other accessories. This one you guys have seen so much I debated even showing it, but it is this little hat from Slush Cult. I've mentioned it so much, I feel like you guys already know that, and it's like a Paul Frank collab, I've said that a million times, but look how cute it is. The little skull guy, oh, he's so fun, and it says, don't forget, never grow up. <laughs> Why can't I read that? Don't forget, never grow up on the back, which is so cute and wholesome, so I really like this. I feel like it really spices up any outfit I put on, and it makes it a little bit more cool, dare I say? So I've been loving this beanie, and yeah, I've shown it a million times and I probably will show it a million more. Next on the accessory category is this little headband. I feel like it's very cute. The puffy headband is like kind of a trend right now, at least on my corner of the internet. Um, Lainey Ozark talks about them and I just thought it was really cute. I went to this like warehouse sale again with my stern-in-laws and this was like, I don't know, four or five bucks. And I was like, you know what, why not? We're gonna try it out. And I feel like with my like really puffy hair, it kind of looks good, like it kind of, evens out all that crazy space. So should I keep it on for the rest of the video? Maybe I will. The last category is jackets. And I honestly, this is such a simple one. It's kind of a funny one to show, but I still wanted to. I've been wearing this nonstop. It's just this little green zip up. It is from Walmart, which is lame, but it's kind of slapped. I'm not gonna lie. I've been wearing it everywhere. And I just feel like it's kind of nice to have a little zip up for fall. Like it's easy to toss on, especially if you're just going outside real fast. I walk my dog every day. So I like will toss this on when I go out to walk him. And this green color is everything to me. It kind of reminds me of like the Brandy Melville zip up jackets that were really popular for a while, but this was like 10 bucks. So kind of a steal if you're asking me. Yeah, I'm obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with green and it's just been a really good staple so far for me this fall. It's very like realistic. I also have shown this item a lot, but I wanted to give it like, you know, its own moment in this video as well. And it is this jean jacket that I thrifted. The tag says sweet to salt. So haven't heard of that, but it's a great jacket. The only thing is, guys, I definitely washed it and a button flew off in the wash. So that's a little depressing. I'm not gonna lie. But everything else about this jacket is so perfect. The wash is exactly what I wanted. Like I really wanted like this darker denim color and like kind of these like gold buttons popping out to make it more of like a 2000s vibe. And I also just really love the fit. Like I love wearing it buttoned up the top and then like flaring out so you can see what's underneath. I just think it's a really good jacket for that. Like the size could not be more perfect. Love this jacket and I just wanted to give it justice in the video. So that was very chaotic. I always say that, but like really I was losing my mind this time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am going to New York soon and I really want to film like a vlog for it. So you'll see a lot of those pieces styled there. You can go follow me on my social medias if you want to see more of me and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you. What you? Pshh.